I'm sure you've seen this Markesh Brownlee video by now where he disses the very popular AI pin and talks about how useless this product is and how this product could have been an app on your phone. This is the same scammy and scummy behavior that a lot of design tools these days have. I just want to break these things down. So this frustration of mine started with Creety. And Creety is a tool that was recently launched and became one of the biggest products on Product Hunt for the week. Of course, this caught my eye and I said, wow, okay, this is a nice AI design tool. Maybe I can make a video on this. Cut to a week later when I'm researching this tool and everything smells fishy to me all of a sudden. Almost immediately, everything is talking about how AI is so powerful in this tool and this is the AI tool of the year. First of all, the features on this website are not jaw-dropping at all, especially the ones showcased here. So they're just talking about how you can upscale an image, you can background remove an image, which I think is pretty cool, but could have been done with a plugin, say in Figma. What really caught my eye was the Creaty Wizard. First of all, they have completely ripped off Figma's design including dev mode. To a lot of people, this was a positive point so that they don't have to learn a new tool from scratch. Okay, I get it. Their biggest feature that they're boasting about is called Creaty Wizard is right here. And at any point of time, I want to say highlight an area. I want to say put a calendar here. All it does is first of all, brings up random elements that can fit in this space. No AI being used here. I type in calendar, all of a sudden, it just brings in a nav bar. Basic instruction for a basic calendar could not be completed right here. Okay, I give them the benefit of the doubt, create a larger area like this. Again, just random elements that can fit inside this. Lo and behold, finally, it brings up calendars. All which are already pre-built by the team. Completely useless feature just randomly shows you objects first. You type in an element and it just brings it to you. The only useful feature about this AI feature, AI feature, is the context that you can give it. So if I give it a context of carousel of Books. Tries to type in things, so I'll give it credit there. So best selling books, catch up with the latest page turner. Cool. So if the images are not updated, I have to manually do everything anyway. Now this is the same problem that happened with Framer AI. Framer AI is still much more useful, but when I wanted Framer AI to design a website for me with multiple pages, it only created one page. But when I wanted it to design another page with the same design, couldn't even match the designs. The designs of every single page on my website were random. It was truly underwhelming because I came after seeing the video and the amazing hype they, that they had created. Of course, there are things like AI Trans, in a world where Google Translate already exists. Why do you need an AI translator? The designs are pre-created by designers at Framer and they just copy paste images and text into these website templates and just sell it to you as AI. Now, I wanted to try out some of the best ones out there which claim to be AI design tools and are much more powerful. Now, Galileo AI became super popular when it started to generate UI designs from scratch and would design complete web pages and applications based on your prompts. If you look at designs created by different people with different prompts, right here in public and the special thing is how all these designs have similar elements for example this button the pink color it's a deep pink color but has this nice rounded edges looks good is the same button with a different typeface and a different color okay maybe it's a mistake how about this search bar created by someone else with the same color different typeface and they're just generating uis based on these UI kits or design systems and just replacing the text with AI generated content. Now, Wizard is probably the only UI design tools that, uh, that is truly AI powered. For example, it can recognize a uh, application like Spotify and convert Spotify's design system to your own design system. Apart from that, you can actually ask for things like suggestions on your UI designs. How can you improve that UI? Design? So this is now much closer to something like ChatGPT and Google Gemini when it comes to asking for feedback. And of course, they're one of the first companies that converted a screenshot or a photo, a piece of paper wireframe and converted that paper wireframe into a final UI design. Which I think is actually powerful and actually useful for most teams and most designers. So at the end of the day, all I have to conclude is most AI design tools are barely design tools to begin with. Most artificial intelligence Keywords are thrown at your face just so that just so that they create some hype. You go try out their tool. Maybe you start paying for their tool in the future, and that is the aim. I mean, the AI pin was just a cherry on top of the cake. I want to know what you guys think down below. That's the most important part of this. This is an opinion-based video. It's not trying to diss a company. It's not trying to bring anyone down 
all I wanted to do was create a little more awareness in the user's perspective and give you guys a clear vision of what these tools are actually all about. I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place. Until next time, subscribe, like, and God bless.